Well, I got a lot of good memories, I guess, and bad memories because we've run so many, many races there. But probably the one that stands out the most is an uh, incident with me and Bobby Allison uh, back in 71, 72, I guess. Uh, you know, came down to the last race and me and him was racing and on the two or three laps to go, I hit him or he hit me and then we really got with it then. And if it had been one more lap, neither one of the cars would have made it. That's how bad a shape they was in. So, uh, you know, I guess as far as really getting adrenaline flowing for winning the race, I happened to win the race. Uh, that was probably the most exciting moment from my standpoint because it lasted more than just one incident or one lap. Well, guess what? Dale Earnhardt has worked his way into the lead. The 24th race led here for Dale Earnhardt, and here's how he got around Jeff Gordon. Doing it the tough way, isn't he? Yeah. I don't want to go on the outside. Do you, Ned? Well, I don't like him out on track like this, but he goes up there, has a lot of confidence in Gordon, and Gordon didn't fight him too much. He just uh, let him go. And wonder if Gordon, when he got in, he and Dave Marcus got together, it looked like their tires might have rubbed a little bit. How about it, Jerry Punch? Well, what Jeff has told Ray Everham, Ned, was that he has flat spotted the right front when he became the meeting at Shepard and Marcus Sandwich a little bit ago. He said, We're, I know we want to go 25 more laps to fit. He said, but Ray, I'm not sure we can make it 25 more laps. The car is going away. And Ray said, just back off and save that right front. We've got about two more stops. We'll get it fixed. Don't worry about it. Meanwhile, Dale Jarrett has caught Rusty Wallace for sixth position. Now, we'll see Ricky Rudd out there in the tide for it. He just came out of the pits. Ricky was running along at about ninth position, and he chose to make an early pit stop. Johnny Benson Jr. is in the pits right now, but Rusty's car really has gone away. He's just hanging on out there, hoping for a caution or waiting for one of the leaders in front of him to pit, and then he'll come in. Dale Jarrett's best finisher was seventh. He's been in 18 races, but he's right on that back bumper of Rusty now. Let's check Jeff Burton to see how he's doing later. The interval on the left side of the pylon, we'll just check him out. Two or three quarter second behind right now. If we watch Dale Jarrett's four quality gear car try to get by Rusty, and yes, Rusty cannot control it. Goes up hill, and Dale Jarrett drives on the inside. And we can see that Jeff Burton Ed, is the fastest on the track. He's gained a quarter of a second. Yeah, he has uh, has now passed Mark Martin for the third position. So Jeff Burton is on the tear. Fourth place car, Mark Martin. And there's the leader. Earnhardt, the three, and Jeff Gordon, the 24. I heard you guys talking about this track in the uh, truck race yesterday and explaining that it's an abrasive service, just like it was at Darlington before yeah. uh, they repaved it. Exactly. We can see the rubber laying down on the concrete up in three and four. We go around the racetrack, it just, like sandpaper, it just takes the rubber off the tires. 2.2 seconds, Benny, between for a second and third. Yeah, he's moving right on up. Yep, Burton. Step side back to the score. Now let's see, there's the fourth place car. There goes the one. There goes Jeff Bill Jarrett. And there comes Terry Labonte. He's the eighth place car trying to chase down Rusty Wallace. Jeremy Mayfield running there with him in the 37 car. And on back we have Sterling Marlin, who is ninth. Started in 13th. And then your scoring pylon will show you that the next car after Sterling Marlin will be the 41 of Ricky Craven. Where is he? Sterling, Sterling Marlin heading for the pits, and there comes the 43 car. Barry Cope is in the pits. There is Marlin on pit road looking for his stall. Down here about three-fourths of the way down. Long pits here. Let's go to Bill Weber. Jericho coming in for four tires. They've already got the fuel in. The rights are on. The lefts are tight. Jericho turns to the race. Jerry Punch. Three bounces 
that 31 play, 31st place finish last week in March. Well, they make an adjustment on the left rear, trying to tighten up the Kodak Film Chevrolet. One, two, three, half rounds. It's around and a half total. He is off the jack, down and away. He pulls out right to the side. Hutch Frick. take another break as you see the leader of this race dale earnhardt 235 laps are completed back in just a moment